So, people really watch videos like this. Huh. Don't worry, I'm not looking to make this a regular thing, but we are talking about your phone settings. So, why not shoot vertical for some screen grabs? Before we jump in, a short explanation. EarPod and AirPod style headphones create no seal around your ear canal. They have some decent drivers. They sound pretty good, but you know what? Let me have Dr. Allison Grimes take the wheel for a second. She's the head of audiology at UCLA. Because as you say, that goes into the ear canal, doesn't fully seal it, does allow other sound in the environment to get into the ear canal. So then the tendency is to turn it up turn louder. Turn it up louder. Yeah. I mean, I use that kind of earphone sometimes. Really, it all comes down to the intensity of the sound at the eardrum, mm -hmm. of any sound at the eardrum, and the duration of the sound. Once you start damaging your hearing, it never really heals. We frame this as some kind of moral panic. Won't someone think of the children? While rates of hearing loss are climbing in kids, that is really scary. We're creating a whole deaf generation. Adults are doing a lot of permanent damage too. We need to use the tools Apple gives us and we need to change our behavior to retrain our ears. Here's what we're gonna do. While sitting in a fairly quiet room, we don't want any audio distractions. Listen to a couple of your absolute favorite songs, songs you know really well. Now move the volume around until you found a good balance of hearing the detail in your music at a comfortable listening volume and maybe even drop the volume one click down from that. It might feel a bit disappointing at first because we all have a tendency to jack the volume up so our music feels more impressive. Now, armed with this info, go into settings on your iPhone, go to the music app settings and scroll down to volume limit. Drop that limit so it blocks the phone from playing music louder than the level we established while listening in the quiet room. While you're here, I also like enabling sound check, which tries to normalize the differences between songs. It minimizes the volume differences between tracks. I know what you're thinking though. As soon as you're in a louder environment, this limit is definitely not going to sound as good. And this is the problem with EarPod designed buds. The only way to beat environment noise is to overpower it. That's terrible for your ears. Again, Dr. Grimes. Well, there's an interesting phenomenon called temporary threshold shift. Mm -hmm. So you go to a concert, you're in a concert for three, four hours, you listen to a lot of loud music, you come out of the concert and your ears feel like they're ringing, they feel mm -hmm. stuffy, you feel like things sound muffled. And then after a day or two, the ringing goes away and that muffled sensation goes away. And then people think, oh, well, I'm fine now. Um, okay. It was just temporary. Well, it's not. We okay. know that every exposure to intense noise causes some degree of permanent damage. And so repeated exposure to intense noise um, ends up causing a frank hearing loss. Okay. So the ear really doesn't recover from exposure to loud noise, even though perceptually it might it gets feel, better, it, gets, right. it feels like it gets better, but the ear itself doesn't actually fully recover. Competing against a noisy environment raises that threshold for attention for your brain, but your ears can only handle so much energy physically forced directly into them. Time versus intensity. The higher the intensity, the shorter you should listen. By conducting our listening test in a quiet room, we've set a level that should allow for the longest listening session we might enjoy at the healthiest level of intensity. If you're regularly in noisy environments though, this is why you should shop a better solution, a solution fit for that application. Closed back cans for comfort, inner aural earbuds for better passive noise reduction. And if you really want situational awareness, you need to hear what's going on around you, maybe consider something like bone conduction where your ears are totally open. EarPods, AirPods, and Google's Pixel Buds are all pretty poor options for the various life situations you often see them being used in. Even just casually walking around with traffic surrounding you, cars make a lot of noise. Now, for as much as I bag on Apple, I do have to give them credit that these tools are baked into iOS. Android has no direct native solution to rein in and set a limit on your volume. Some phones have manufacturer's options. There are third-party apps you can install that help set limits. You could create a restricted family account on your phone. Won't someone please think of the children? But in Android land, nothing nearly as streamlined as what Apple offers. So kudos, Apple. 
I just wish you'd spent the extra penny per phone to give us earbuds with better inner ear tips, but I digress. It's up to us to change our behavior. These headphones are cheap and convenient. They come in the box. But how soon do you want to drop around $3,000 on hearing aids? Does your insurance even cover hearing aids? Remember, once you damage your hearing, it never heals. It never really comes back. And if you've already done some damage, now's the perfect time to hold on to what you've still got. As always, thanks so much for watching. Audio is a passion of mine and something which is often taken for granted in the larger tech discussion. If you want to see how your favorite pocket supercomputers perform for headphone and speaker tech, head on over to patreon.com slash some gadget guy, the exclusive home to all of my camera and audio deep dive reviews. It's also becoming a really fun community of like-minded tech fans, so I hope you'll check it out. Again, patreon.com slash some gadget guy. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Instagrams and the Twitters and the Facebooks. And I will catch you all on the next video.